My dear APP family, as chairman of the oldest and largest student political organization in Europe, coming from Malta, the smallest state in the European Union, I am honored to be given the opportunity to address you as one big family. This gathering brings us together in a moment where Europe is going through major revolutions, a green and digital transition challenged by an economic crisis and war. Add on top of that, a fragile job market, climate change, and the pandemic. It is us, the younger generations, who will be living with the consequences of the decisions that are taken now. Despite everything, we are optimistic. We believe that we are the most equipped to meet the challenges. We have strong values and vision. We aspire for dignity for all. We are committed to peace. We provide the forward-thinking mindset for development and change in communities and societies. We are not only remaining on the forefront, but we are leading our fast-paced, ever-fluctuating economies. We hold on in our hands the enormous potential for positive change. All these things are evident to us, but unfortunately not always to others. Too often, young people are ignored, underestimated or misunderstood. The best way to prevent threats in our freedom is to show how capable we are to stand up to aggressors. Otherwise, we risk repeating grave mistakes. We risk appeasing corrupt autocrats who saw it fit to devastate the homes of our Ukrainian neighbors in the name of greed. We risk the lives of journalists and human rights defenders who could suffer the same fate as Daphne Caruana Galizia and Jan Kuciak if they are not protected. If we want to enjoy our freedoms, we need to work for them, stand up for them, and speak out for them. Today, we must ensure that our voices are heard, not only ours here in the European Union, but especially the young activists' voices in Albania, Armenia, Georgia, Kosovo, Lebanon, Moldova, and North Macedonia, as well as young Ukrainians starting over in Poland and other secure places in Europe. Ten days ago, EDS was at the Polish-Ukrainian border visiting a wartime reception point at the heart of Europe. We were meters away from a country of war. The inspiring proof of European solidarity will guide us forever. The EPP is serious when it comes to strengthening our voices. The youth have always been a priority for our political family. My dear friends, the youth are tired of being defined as the future leaders. These last few years have been trying for young people. We saw our dreams shattered by the economic crisis, the virus, and now by the war. Yet, we will never surrender. We will never stop fighting for our values, and we will prevail. Because, my dear friends, we are the EPP students.